Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings Online. I'm Dre Gottams, and we're in Nilin. Taking a little view over some of the Angmar Vista. Now, uh, we were doing a little bit of leveling last time. I uh, think we still want to hit probably 47 before we continue on with the main quest. There were a lot of red mobs there, and it's hard to kill things. So, looking at our quest log here, and there, are, let's see, we have a couple quests where, like, if we just turn them in, like, if we just go there, then uh, it'll kind of start another quest chain, and we can do more things. So, I can't. I think looks like I have all of the quests active that I'm allowed to have right now. Where where are those? What's active right now? The ah, oh, is that active? Well, this one. Okay, yeah, we we don't need that one active. That's only one quest. There should be four others. Uh, okay, so this is one of them. We'll keep that one active. I want to do stuff there. Troll shawls, get out of here! How are you? What? How are you active? Get out of there! Uh, anything? Three? Maybe there's some four show. No? Huh, okay. The prologue, maybe? Okay. What, what level was this one? I'm not sure what that is. Okay, I think that's probably good enough. Okay. So let's see, if we activate these... Nethral can be found at Krusle Lanan, east of Gabul Shathur. I think Gabul sounds like a dwarven thing, so... Down in the south? Dwarven... Okay, yeah, here. Ooh, that's kind of far. So, yeah, here's our main quest right now, but we can turn in some quests here. Um, actually, now that I think on it, I think there's clave, uh, yeah, cave claws around here, and we should have clave claws for... <laughs> cave claws, well, that's a tongue twister, for part of our quest. So I'm assuming that is where we can find them, so it might do us some good to go down here anyways. So maybe we can do that. Uh, okay, if we do that, I think this is that dead area, which we could probably find whites. So maybe that'll be a way that we can do our thing. Okay, cool. We got a plan. We're going to go here. We're going to go south to this white area, get eight more white remains, and then continue on down here for the cave claws. Ooh, I said it right that time. And then from there, we'll go turn in, I think this is the other area where we can turn in these quests. So we can do some of those quests that might get us close to level 47. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and uh, get our Hobbit gift now that we've got that out of the way. Some mount speed, which I guess is not the worst thing in the world. Doesn't help us directly, but it's nice to have. Um, oh, and since, you know, we're going to be killing things maybe by ourselves, like, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, trying a little take a new take on our red line we're going to do a red line yellow line split so as of now so what happens is you have your specialized section right we've been using red and blue it costs one point to level up your main specialized area it costs two points to level up in kind of auxiliary tier or the off tier which is really expensive considering we only have 25 points so what I did was I put maximum points in rain damage, and so we're going to try to do range more, and then put the rest in our red line. So we're going to try to pick and choose things that are good in yellow and good in red. It has to be really good in yellow for us to use points on it because it's double the cost. And then there'll be some things in red that we just completely ignore. Like, uh, I don't know, like quick sweep. We'll probably try to ignore that. There's a chance the Onslaught and Wall of Steel. I, I, Wall of Steel I have never used, maybe because we don't have it yet. I don't know. Onslaught, I'm not sure how often they use that. So, you know what I mean? There's certain of these trait trees that we don't really need. I think 25% range damage is definitely helpful no matter how you slice it. So, we're going to try that. So, let's go do that. Okay, um, well, let's be on our way. And obviously, as with every time that we use red, I'll probably find that uh, one or two fights in. Like, hey, this is not worth it. Going back to blue. But we're going to give it a try. Um, so we, yeah, we're here. we got to get down to here. There's a milestone here, so maybe we can get there. Cut through. I don't know if there's any path here or not. Uh, but yeah. 
Let's get that milestone, or at least maybe I don't know if there was a horse there. Let me see. Hold on. I wonder if we can. Can we? I know this looks very deadly and dangerous, but actually, let's get our horse. Uh, it probably doesn't matter. Actually, no, 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 no. Wait. The horse might have slippery feels. Like the horse will give us some more like health or resistance, but let's see if we can kind of do some parkour, like cliffhanger style ledge hopping. So let's see this. A little, a little jagged. Come on, stop. Nope. Hang it. Nope. Hang it. Nope. No, no. Oh. oh. Okay. Well, that did not work. Look, this is so jagged. We should be able to s land somewhere. Alright, well, that sucks. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we died from misadventure, not from actual dying. So I don't think we have to have a cooldown from that. Oh. Wait a minute. Where's this? Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Cheesing it like a boss. Like an ultimate boss. So this is a new area. Yeah, there's doors. Like, wait a minute. Did we just go where we need to? Is there, a, is, there a, is there a horse here? No. Oh, well, this is cool, though. Yeah, where is this? Oh, okay. I was say, yeah, we're looking at that. All right. And there's quests here. Oh, this is great. Maybe we can get our level up here, too. Stop and hear my accursed tale. Let's see what's going on here with these dwarves since we got to do some white stuff anyways. Okay, well that worked. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. The main route between Karn Doom and Ram Duath, which leads to the southern lands, bears much Angmarim traffic. Messengers and patrols move along this path, winding through the haunted ways of Imlad Bakhorth. Perhaps because of the dread that of the place, the traffic through Imlad Balchorth is lightly guarded. I would ask that you find the Angmarim patrols and messengers and waylay them, bearing back any orders they carry, along with any wealth in the form of pay boxes they may be carrying. I know this speaks of mere brigandry, but on the one hand, the loss of those orders may delay warlike plans of the Angmarim and orcs already in the North Downs. And on the other hand, without those funds, their trade with some of the less reputable merchants of the South and East may be affected, and their own men may be unwilling to move if they are not paid. So in this case, to be a highwayman may not be such a bad thing. Oh, highwayman. It reminds me of a, a novel I read. I think it was R.A. Salvatore. Uh, call called the highwayman or something like that. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, all right, so that doesn't have to do anything with whites, but and how many more quests do we have? Okay, yeah, we still have spot for quests, but we'll see if we can find something with whites. Nightshade plants. Greetings. I've heard your name in the dispatches from Gabalashathur. There is much work to be done here, so I must encourage you to pay attention. West of here, there is a region of dread and darkness called Imlad Baldkorth. It is largely inhabited, if that is the word, by terrible whites and fell spirits, summoned from the world of shadow. It is most unnatural for such creatures to be seen abroad. Something must be summoning them, binding them, causing them to wander in that place. Whatever the cause, these terrible creatures are an abomination and a terrible growing threat to all the free peoples. It seems that Angmar is breeding an army of the dead to bring against the lands of the north. Yeah, no, we don't want that. To the north and east of the troll-infested... Oh, there's trolls? Okay. Uh, Maythad, which is just south of here, grows a poisonous herb, Nightshade. It is said that this plant is simple, which has virtue to ward against the terrible whites when steeped in a certain rare liquor I have obtained from the rangers of Gothforthnir. Please gather nightshade plants and bring them to me, and I will prepare a tincture. I don't really... I've seen that word before, but I've never really heard it pronounced. Tincture? Uh, for you to help with this menace. i kind of curious to hear that one. It's always good to learn uh, new words. So, it doesn't look like we're actually going into that land yet. We're all, we're, they're sending us everywhere. Ah, perfect. This is what we needed. They haunt my dreams. I went off of this forsaken rock and back under my own. Please help, good friend, and eliminate those shambling whites. Thin their number and perhaps our guard will no longer have to deal with the threat of them every night. They lie in wait in the west of Imlad Balkjorth. Destroy as many whites there as you can, then return to me. I do not doubt or I do not know why we ever came to this abominable land. There is no wealth in this waste, but I want out 
Even if it means cutting down every walking corpse of Angmar. Cool. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Let's see here. We got a couple more. Might as well grab all these. Actually, let me take a little look. Oh yeah, there's that one then. So yeah, I guess it's it's not red. So remember, maybe there's certain areas that are red in Angmar and certain ones that are not. Maybe it gets more red as we get closer to Himbar and Karn Doom. I, I guess it wasn't really red over here, but it is over here. So yeah, probably in this region, anything kind of directly connected to Karn Doom, it probably gets red. That's what I'm going with. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. So we got two more guys here. Who is this? Gautar. Will you stop and hear my accursed tale? Ooh, small fellowship. Angmar was avoided by my people long ago, for many things dwelled here that are better left alone. When we thought them gone, we foolishly came seeking wealth in this barren land. Unfortunately, with the coming of the false king, those fell things have been awakened. Perhaps the worst of the creatures which dwell here are the fell spirits, demons which have existed in Middle-earth since the first age of this world. At the height of the witch realm of Angmar, the witch king had power to command these spirits, and it is said that there are other creatures which have a similar power. It was these spirits that the Witch King sent to the Barrow Downs after the passing of Cardalon. It is these spirits who stir the bones of the dead. I bid you to go west into Imlad Balchorth and confront these demons. Claim the tokens of Angmar they carry. Perhaps we can use the tools of the enemy to banish the fell spirits from Middle Earth. Hmm. That one actually sounds like a pretty cool quest. And the last guy here, Thorod. Kind of got a stick there. Yeah. I was gonna say swipe, wiping some sweat around, but it's actually the rain that's trickling on his face that he has to wipe. Yep, yeah, yeah. The rain's coming down there, huh? Let's see, Thor. What are you looking at? Will you stay and speak with me a moment? Have you witnessed the foul waters that flow from Karn Doom? In the past months, we have seen the waters from Urgarth become dark and rank with the smell of decay, but we cannot fathom the reason. Regardless of the cause, it is becoming ever more difficult to find drinkable water. We must learn more of, of these waters and the maladies that they c cause as they flow into Imlad Balchor. Here, take this file and return to me with samples of the water. Please combine five drams of this foul water into a single file. You should first draw water from the roiling patches in the pools in the eastern parts of Imlad Balchor. The waters there cloud the minds and bind the tongues of those who come upon them. Ooh. Creepy. Alright. Let's be on our way. This is probably not the way. Oh, so, oh there's just a random war patrolling. Okay, so yeah, there we go. This is the way. And this, is, this guy's just like, he wants to come up here and like deal with the dwarves, but he doesn't dare for some reason. All right, well, let's do... Ooh, there's some whites here. Let's start killing some stuff. Start using our range. So we're in range right now. So just our normal thing. There we go. Nice, that was actually a pretty quick kill. Look at that, 25% damage. That's what happens. It's going to take me a little time to get used to using ranged... Uh, Ooh, I kind of liking this ranged. I'm liking the fact that we can kill things that aren't red. Is there an actual path here, or... Okay, yeah, looks like it. Don't think we need these... Was that an arm? Decaying hand. I don't think we need that. Okay, so here... Whoa, oh, they have... Those are those bar guys. Well, this is definitely, like, that's a group where we'd want to be in blue, but we'll stick with these guys here. Because they're by themselves. So now that we're in the assailment stance, I wonder... Yeah. It's nice when you, we can kill them, when we can knock them down first with the ambush, because then we can kill them before they get up. But it's going to take forever if we do that every time. Let's let's see how the gambits work in assailment. Yeah, range power attack. Yeah. Let's see here. How about range persevere? Do we actually heal up life with that? Seems kind of silly, huh? That <laughs> range boot is not actually a boot. It's just a javelin. Okay. 
curious to see. Come on, get in there. Okay. How much does this do? Whoa, 300 to. Whoa, that's pretty good damage. And then I can just. Just keep throwing stuff. Okay, yeah, we're, we're getting the whites done. I don't know if we're actually getting. Um, the stuff. Oh, oh, yeah, we need these guys too. I don't know if we're getting the items for our warden quest though. Oh, he's coming quick. Oh, uh, we can actually, I mean, even though we're in red, we can still switch over to melee. Oop, collected money box. So I'll just have to get uh, more used to switching in and out of those stands. Takes a little more work with my fingers. Uh, okay, that didn't work. But I think I can get the hang of it. It'll definitely become helpful, useful. So we got the orders. I think I need the white remains. Unless they're coming here and I just have to collect it. That could be a thing, too. Yeah, there it is. Three. Bone amulets. So we got five white remains. I think we're going to need the stuff from them. So let's go ahead and take down this archer. Oh, you think you got the range? No, we got the range, buddy. No, we got it, buddy. I'll, I'll just continue here. Let's see how much the range power attack. It doesn't do a bleed though. That'd probably be too cheap if you could do the bleeds and range, just dominate like like that. This is kind of good. I'm, I'm liking it so far. Obviously, once we get a lot of mobs at once, it's not going to be as fun. But this is kind of clean. Look at that. Oh, and actually, while we're you know, let me pop that never surrender now before it becomes a, a like an issue later. So range death strike. This should give us that. Okay, that didn't work. So we got that quest. Oh, okay. I see something bubbling. That's probably for another quest. Jeez, uh, what is going on here? Silenced. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I was like, well, who's coming for us? Luckily, we're, we don't use any shouts or magic really right now. That's the thing in the the blue line. Like most of our damage does come from all of our shouts and our our tactical attacks. So I guess it's good that we're okay. Water drawn. Do we see any other water? Do we have to grab stuff there? Damn it! I know we have to get some herbs, right? Some nightshades. I wonder if that's in here. It sounded like it was outside of this. Uh, Veil, or I don't know what we're gonna call it. Yeah, veil works. Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, that, okay, that scared me. Okay, uh, that definitely scared me. Oh, okay, we got guys on us. Let's switch over. Okay. I think we'll still get that thing where we heal up every time we get killed, so it won't be the end of the world that we're in red right now. We'll just have to kill things fast. That was good. <laughs> man, man, they dropped an ambush on us. Well, who's this? An elite. 48, 10,000. Uh, oh, this is where we need to... Oh, are these the ones that we have to kill for the tokens? I don't like the, I don't like that at all. Uh, damn it, come on. Yo, come on, bro. That's not chill. You saw I was about to put the, the uh, beat down on this guy, right? You saw that, right? We're just going to stick with uh, the melee. Because I want to come up and drop some bleeds on it anyways. So. We did get the heal off, so that's fine. Drop some bleeds. If he's going to give us time, then I'm going to back up. Go to ranged. I mean, I mean, if you want to play those games, I got all the quarters in the world. I mean, I can play all night. I can play all night. Ah, uh, so we have to kill these elites for this token thing. That's fine. We can do it. Uh, wow, though. Let me mention it. Let's go ahead and eat some food real quick. 
I'm going to eat the Dalemans Crams. These are items that we get sometimes from the hobby gifts, so we might as well use those. And I don't think I have... Let's see. I think I can search here, right? Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, where's my light oils and stuff? Okay. Perfect. Now we have the power of the light. Power of the Eldars. Throw a couple of these bad boys. And switch, switch. Okay, not bad. A little slow, I gotta be faster, but it's working. This guy has a good amount of health. I'm gonna drop one more bleed on him and then we're gonna. Oh, he's almost dead, anyways. I'll say, like, one bleed and then we're gonna start attacking someone else. But we pretty much just killed him. Alright, alright. I like that these guys are spread out. I like that there's some space to actually get some work done around here. Purge that off. Okay, three down. Not bad. Do we have any more white remains? Cause I don't think we completed that one yet, did we? What's this? Putrid finger now. Hunters and lore masters. Ugh. Don't need that. I feel like some people are gonna pop out of nowhere. Oh, what's this? The terrible dread. Uh, I guess he's probably for a quest? Let's avoid him. Doesn't look like he gives us credit for what we're trying to do. Are these guys all the same thing? Okay, no, maybe they're just for this area here. Okay, we need, we do need him. Oh, these guys can probably give us... Oh, I don't know how that happened. What did I press? I don't even think I pressed anything. No, there's an update. Do I have auto attack on? I probably do. The game just did an update. I think a, a new region came out. It might be the Iron Hills. I'm not sure. I'm not far enough in the game, but I saw the loading screen had something about dragons and stuff. So I don't know if, er if everything reset, what happened, but... Okay, let's see if that happens again. Ooh. Bar... Co go rock. Oh, okay, so if I double tap it, I think that's what happened. I think I double tapped. That's cool. That's actually good to know. A quick way to activate fights. You can double click them, and I think it'll just auto attack. This is a pretty cool looking area, though. As gross and dark and ugly as it is, and dead. I think it's kind of cool. What is that? What's that? What's that purple thing? Rage fell spirit. Oh wait, I, I need to pay attention. He's actually taking away health. Okay. <laughs> yes, we are a warden, but let's not get too cocky with our <laughs> ability to survive here. Okay. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, that's actually good enough. Okay, let's do some heals. How about that? No. No! Okay. Okay. Do we get any more white remains? No, we're getting some rep items, though. Damn it. Can I get some right? I'm killing whites. Oh, these, I mean, these are maybe dead things. Though. I don't know if these count. Gotta kill those walking dudes. Uh, what do you have? Tokens. I don't know if we can kill two of them at the same time right now. Not all that encouraged by our chances. Okay. Th this won't kill us, will it? Oh, so now you hug the wall. Now you hug it, huh? Annoying. Okay, I think we can pull him. That should be fine.
try to kill him before he gets up. That's the name of the game. What? Oh, uh, okay. So he disappeared. That's fine. Let's just throw shit. Let's just throw stuff. And then come in close. Oh, but if you switch, okay. It resets the gambit. So I gotta keep that in mind. We don't want to have a gambit chain fill up, and then when we switch, we, we lose it. That's definitely not the business. So... Definitely not the business. Okay, don't pull anyone else. There we go. Oh! Nope, we pulled him. I was like... Okay. Let's do, get this gambit off, and then we'll switch. There we go. Now that we are actually switching, I might have to get that trait where you get a bonus when you switch from uh, Assailment to the whatever fighting stance is. What is it? Perseverance? Oh, in the fray? Okay. Let's purge that. Perfect. Okay, let's heal up a little bit. Let's purge that disease. I'm going to do a defensive attack. This guy's actually hitting kind of hard. Oh, what do we get there? Oh, we got some armor. Um, okay, let's try to get out of range of something spawning. I want to check out what, what we got there. Uh, Westerness. Jacket of Determination. Of course it's will. It's medium, but it's will. I don't get this. It actually could have been... It might have been useful. If that was 46 agility, that would have been pretty sweet. How does it look, though? Eh, it's actually kind of cool looking piece. Of course, the main quest. How does it die, though? Oh, this dies pretty sick. Yo, this is pretty tight. Let's, let's, let, let's drop on our orange flavor real quick. Whoa, are you guys ready? You guys aren't ready for this. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to do it. Uh, well, let's check black really quickly. Um, black's not bad. It's, like, more reasonable. That orange is pretty obnoxious, and I love it. Okay, we're taking that for sure. Okay. Oh, are you guys ready to go full orange? I think, like, we have to do it on uh, Halloween, which is coming up. Oh, but I might be out of town during Halloween. Oh, no. Okay, we'll do it for a Halloween episode, though. Like, right before Halloween, I'll post it. Ooh, nice. Oh, we stumbled across one of these items. Take that. And those guys, that gives us nothing to kill him. I wonder if there's more of these that we can find. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have to kill him, though, because he's in the way. Okay. This area is, is, is it's very quiet, but I guess that's how it should be, right? In like a land of the dead, so. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that. So this is good. We need three more of these. Or two more. Nice. We, we were at three. Now we need two. Uh, okay, watch out. What more do we need? I think we need one more of those guys. Two more of those guys. Okay. Uh, I don't think we can get past here without fighting him, so let's just take him down. Go. Get him. Get him. I gotta remember to use this one. Wages of Fear. Does extra damage if we attack from behind. And so if we combo that with the ambush, we typically should be attacking from behind. Or they're, at least they're going to be knocked over, so we can position ourselves to do extra damage. At least that's what I'm thinking. Yo. Kill that hand from Adam's family. Okay. Creep up over here in this fell spirit. Enraged fell spirit. Down he goes. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over. Nice. It's actually good to time it right as we get that ability, because then I can go and then go straight back into it. 
There he goes, taking me around. Taking down our, our health again. Fifty-eight plus fifty-eight, though that's pretty good heals. I'll take that. Okay, one more token. Can I go in here? Knock knock. Nope. These guys are nothing. We need to find more of those water puddle areas. Let's just run by these guys. Come on, stay out of range. Yay! They didn't see us. Maybe he started walking right as we went by. In which case, I love it. Okay, oh, there's gotta be something down there. There's gotta be. So this is gonna be our last token. Which is great. There we go. Okay, now I need to switch over to melee because we're not doing heal uh, bleeds. Okay, this uh, red with a little bit of yellow has not been bad so far. Obviously, we're not taking on a whole lot of guys at once, but yeah, for the single attackers, it's pretty good. I like it. I can definitely feel a difference with the range damage too. That 25% is definitely helpful. Now, if we were to go all yellow, we would get an extra 10% on the range. So we'd have plus 35%. But I was looking at it, there wasn't a whole lot else that was intriguing me about the yellow trait tree. Like, I really want that 25%. So I was like, all right, well, let's just do that in red and kind of, I guess, suffer the consequences of having to give up double points, uh, you know? Eh, so far, it doesn't seem that bad. It'll be a lot better when we level up a lot more and have way more points to use. We won't feel that hurt quite as strongly as we do now. But it's working right now. It's working. So nothing here as far as the water pools. Oh, we probably have to go down here. Whoa. That is bright. That is really cool. I'm imagining that's going to hurt a lot. Might even kill us, so I'm not going to even test it. I wonder if we can... Well, what's over here? Well, we're getting really... Okay. There's a lot on us. This is not good. Did we get them off? I kind of want to use our Hobbit flop. But I want to save it in case things get really hectic. Girthman. Okay. We'll kill this guy. Nope. <laughs> as soon as we said we're going to kill him. It's like, oh yeah? Then I'm going to run away. Okay, this area is pretty cool. I'm assuming there's going to be some stuff that we have to do over here. Just some standard spirits. And I don't see anything sparkling in the pools for that quest, so we'll come back. That first uh, day, yeah, that, that thing is really bright though. It's a very vivid green. It's beautiful. It hurts the eyes, but it's beautiful. Okay. We got most of our quests done, or almost done. So I think as we head out back out, what's this? Oh, it's arm. Like, is that loot? No, it's just an arm that's gonna come up and strangle you. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can get that after I've already gotten it. I don't think so. Okay, that sucks. So we do have to get all new spots for these pools. We can't reuse ones that we've already used before. Makes sense, but I was a little hopeful. God, they keep fearing us. No, get away. Okay, perfect. Alright, we're good. Yeah, so we're done with you. We need just the walking skeleton white dudes. Those guys will give us uh, the white remains. And maybe there's some more puddles here. Uh, it doesn't look like... Yeah, so this guy I think can drop us the stuff that we need. Oh, I somehow targeted the wrong thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, three's enough. No more than three, though. No more than three. <laughs> Giving this uh, red line. Can you do a move, please? Oh, we don't have the shout. Perfect. I was like, why can't I do that? Because we're silent. Oh 
And we have, okay. God, the silence is killing our gambit line. Did we get the white remains? Dispatcher, we got one. What is this? Barb, Barkai's tail? Uh, ooh, wardens. There we go. Oh, we're gonna have to get Barkai stuff now. Oh, check this out. A teal essence of might for level 50. I mean, we don't really do might that much, but we'll take it. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to do more stuff <laughs> for the warden quest. No! No! There's pages. I think we might be good on the warden thing now. Nice. Maybe we'll just kill these bar guys. Can I get this one or did I already get it? I think I already got it. Damn it. Let's see. Okay, let's see here. Do we... We've only got 6 out of 10? Jeez. Uh, defeat whites. Did these guys get it? White remains? Okay, I don't know where it is. Alright, well, I mean, we have a couple quests that we can turn in, right? Yeah, it looks like we're pretty good on a lot of these. Uh, the nightshade we're not even close to. Weapons on the altars, I think that's somewhere else. Draw water, so let's do the foul waters here. Let's see here. Okay, so we have three more spots. Looks like we're we're right next to one. I thought I, I, thought I tried that one, but it didn't seem to work. Oh, okay, cool. Let's put up this. Well, using the names might make it easier for us to tell if it's available or not. Perfect. And... Looks like there's one more. that away. So we're gonna have to kill some Barkai's for sure. It's this Barkai's tail, right? Okay. And it's over here. Alright, let's kill these guys. You know, we can't do our... Hey, we shouts because we're silenced. Nope. Didn't think so. Damn it. Let's clear that. Just keep stabbing them until we're no longer silenced. There we go. It's gonna be tricky. Oh! That's not what I wanted. Damn it. Okay, this is a good thing for us to realize. Losing our shouts, like our silence, greatly affects our gambits. So we're going to have to keep that in mind. If ever we come across some bosses that toss silence on us. Ooh, Iron Crown Messenger. I think we need to kill these guys. Let's sneak up on them. still have two more pages that are taking forever to get. Nice. <laughs> the Iron Crown Runner is slowly walking. <laughs> the slow walk of <laughs> the Iron Crown Runner. Hilarious. Okay, what else do we need to do? Uh, nope. That one's far away. We don't need to do that. Um, duh, 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 duh. What about... Oh, this, the altars? Altars can be found throughout Himbar. Okay, that one's away from the area that we're in. So we don't need to deal with that. And where's the nightshade? Nightshade grows north and east of Mayfed to the southeast. Uh, where's Mayfed? Oh, it's over here. So... The nightshade is probably over here somewhere. We'll do that on our way down to the cave claws. So we need, uh, what do we need? We need four more white remains. Where are you? Let's see, weapon of might. Let's change this green to white. That didn't help. How about to, okay. It's not really affecting the map. I thought it was gonna affect the map and tell us kind of where these creatures are. Didn't work. Nice try. Maybe these guys will give us the white remains. Yes, I mean, these are kind of whites, so let's check it out. 
think right now our task is to identify exactly which mobs will give us what we're looking for. And then we'll hunt those. He did not give us what we're looking for. Let's try one more of their ty type. And if not, then yeah, we'll go back to those walking kind of white lord type dudes. Ooh, there you go. Re revered white remains. Okay, so we can kill those guys. And we will kill those guys. Let's get those tails. We don't need those. Let's get that. Okay, so three more. We easily can tell who to kill now. There's one, so we'll go ahead and take these guys, this guy down along the way. The range combat. Do not underestimate the power of range combat. Oh, kill him before. Ah, oh, damn. Hot damn it, Bobby. So propane and propane accessories. Imagine Hank Hill out here. <laughs> now that would be an episode I'd, I'd <laughs> King of the Hill that I'd want to watch. Oh! There's white all up and down the road. This is crazy. Ooh, there's the guy. He might have what we need. Excuse me, sir. Don't mind us, we're gonna throw some sticks at you. Nice. Oh no, Mar no. I don't wanna deal with the Morval. Okay, how's our loot looking? Take more of those, take more of those. We're getting a lot of good rep items though. I'm digging that. Okay. Damn it, we didn't get any of the revered white remains. Oh, you made it. Okay, cool. Those guys drop it too. Perfect. And just throw while he's down. Get him. Hit him in the butt. Ooh, nice. Okay, perfect. I think we got... Oh, wow, we got four out of nowhere. Okay. So that part's done. Got that out of the way. Do we need to do much else here? So that's in an another area. So we did that. Nightshade, we can do... I think Nightshade's out of this area. That's out of the area. I think we kind of did everything, at least for now in this little valley here. So let's go ahead and return. I think it's up that little road there. Obviously there's going to be a lot more to do down there, but I think as far as the quest that we already have. Oh no, the spiders. The spiders are back. Alright, cool. Let's go turn in some stuff. Oh yeah, kill him. Help me. Save me. Save me. Alright, Cigar. Greetings. So, it is done. That is marvelous news. Now we must hope that the dead remain so. Take some extra heals. Ooh, we got new rep. Uh, I think that's going to give us some swift travel at those horses now, too. And we did a D. What, what do we get here? Ooh, seven empathy. Complete quest in Ingmar. Empathy, armor value, fate, resistance. I mean, it, it's not that great, but it's tier seven. So I think we might have to slot it. Got some Lotro points. Let me see what we can do here. Uh, yeah, we have fours. Oh, we already had empathy. Oh, nice. Okay, anything else worth using? Yeah, it looks like we're using the best stuff that we have. Okay. What you got over here? That the sorcerers of Engmar would dare to commune with these fell spirits speaks well enough to their evil. 
No man, dwarf, or elf, pure part, would deign to do such. It is an abomination. By Thorin's beard, won't you give me even a moment? Okay. He's got another chest uh, quest chain. Let's go ahead and finish well, these off first. Yes. Excellent. I will study this water and attempt to glean what knowledge I can from it, though an elf would be better suited for the task. We still have much work to do. Will you stay and speak with me a moment? Oh, there's a lot of quests here. There's a lot of quests here. Any other turn-ins? Uh, here we go. My Durin's beard! Very good. If nothing else, this money allows me to offer you a reward. Perhaps more important are these orders. They could possess valuable information about troop dispositions in the North Downs. I will make sure to look these over and make sure to find their way to the Rangers of Esteldin. Hear me out, ooh, traveler. Ooh, here's some purple stuff. Let's see. Ooh, a warden shield. Come on, please let it be decent. Uh, armor values less than what we got. Uh, ooh, it's got it's got vitality though and agility. This actually might not be that bad though. The 42 agility is actually really good. We may have a new shield. I can dig it. And the medium enters medium with agility and might. Thank goodness. Finally. Um, those are boots. The armor is a little less, but the stats are a lot better. They actually have a good. Oh, it's a small. Okay, we're, we're actually going to activate this quest just to make sure we don't forget about it. Now that you are familiar with the track of the patrols of the Ingram in Imlad Balchorth, I have another task for you. One considerably more dangerous, but at the same time could cause greater harm to the Angmarim. The papers you found bear the mark of the Lord of Angmar. This Lord, Mol Kolthlum, who calls himself Keeper of the Books, seems to be responsible for managing all the trade and supplies that move to and from Angmar to the Orc armies in the North Downs. If, we, if he were to be defeated, we may be able to stop these supply lines. To that end, I would ask you gather a couple of allies and raid the camp of the Ingmarim that lies some distance west of the large lake, a place of high hills and winding paths. The keeper of the books must be defeated and the orders deciphered. Now, I don't know if we can do this small fellowship because the other ones we couldn't do, but we're definitely going to accept the quest and see if it's possible. I actually kind of want to do that before we go on with the warden stuff because, yeah, I want I want some of those items. I just don't know which items to to use. Speaking of which, let's uh, use some of this rep though. How do how do I do this? No, that's not it. Uh, nope, that's not it. I'm trying to find a way to, to to like mass use them. There you go. Perfect. I could click them like separately, but there's a way to do it all at once. Uh, you now be known as Nil and Known in Gath Forthnir. Cheers. And we'll do this one here. 22 of these bad boys. Damn, that's a lot of rep. That's a lot of rep. Okay, good, 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 good. Ooh, rep change. Deed bestowed. Deed completed. We got five locho points. Known. We are known here. Okay. There's a bunch of other quests to grab. I don't think we're going to venture south just yet. I want to continue on in this region here. No, nope, not, not, not that way. Yep, continue on in this region here of dead things and creepy crawlies. And I definitely want to try that fellowship quest. I think it said it's in the hill, so maybe it's this stuff over here. Uh, which we'll probably have to switch on over to blue line for, but we might be able to do it. We're feeling a little stronger in this episode than I feel like some of the recent episodes. Uh, but we're definitely going to end it here, pick it up next time, and continue our questing in Imlad Balchkorth, however you say it. Until next time, as always, I've been Drake Adams, and you guys have been great. Take care.